Hi, my name is Jessica Barker. I am a student at Purdue University Global. Today I am going to be doing a patient presentation for MN566. For today's purpose of the assignment, I chose Anna Jones. Anna Jones is a 54-year-old female who presented to the office with lower back pain. The patient stated that she was at work about three days ago, moved a patient and felt a pop-in sensation, and then started, develop, started developing an immediate lower back pain. The pain does get worse, even though she's been trying to use the ibuprofen 400 milligrams every eight hours for pain. She stated that the pain is a seven out of 10 on a numeric scale of one being the least, amount of pain 10 being the most. She describes this pain as stinging and tingling that radiates down to her left leg and calf. The patient has only taken ibuprofen 400 milligrams every eight hours, no other medications. She has no, no allergies or medication tolerances. Past medical history is benign. She doesn't have any other issues or chronic illnesses or traumas. She does have three live births, partial hysterectomy in 2010 for fibroids. Her ovaries are still intact. Mother was deceased in 2020 from complications of COVID. She has a history of asthma and she smoked. The father is 86 years old. He's still alive. He has controlled hypertension, smoker, and depression. Social history, she is a technical nurse um, technical school nurse and assistant. She's married in a monogamous relationship. She owns her single family home. She's a mother of three. She denies smoke and substance abuse. She does report occasional wine use. She feels safe in her home. Preventative wise, she's up to, date, so up to date with all her preventative care except for her colonoscopy, which will be addressed and her pap smear is overdue. She last had one in 2010. Immunization, she's up to date. In general, she reports she denies any weight loss or weight loss or weight gain. She skin wise, she denies any skin discoloration, changes in lesions or moles, eyes, no changes in vision, um, ears. She has no hearing loss, ringing in the ears or discharge, nose, mouth, and throat. She denies any dysphagia, denies any dental disease, hoarseness or throat pain. She um, cardiovascular wise denies any palpitations. She denies any edema, discomfort or chest pressure. Respiratory wise, she denies any shortness of breath or a history of pneumonia, no orthopenia, gastrointestinal wise. She denies any na nausea, vomit, diarrhea, constipation um, or a history of ulcers. GU wise, she denies any urgency, frequency, burn-in, changes in color of urine. She is sexually active, denies any STDs. She has three kids, last past year, 2010. Muscle skeletal wise, she reports that she has lower back pain, again, that radiates down to the lower leg and the buttocks, um, and she is getting no relief with ibuprofen. Her breasts, were, um, she denies any lumps, bumps, changes it changes from her mammogram. Hematology-wise, she denies HIV status, any increased hunger or thirst, no intolerance to cold or, he or heat. Neurological-wise, she does report stinging and tingling radiating down to her left leg and to her calf. Psychiatric-wise, she does report anxiety. Weight, she is 110 pounds. She is 5'6". Her Temperature was 98.3, her pulse is 76, her pedal pulse is plus 3, her left arm is 115 over 80, right arm is 116 over 82, no significant change, respirations are 24, SpO2 was 99% of room air. The patient appears in overall good health. Her skin is normal, her um, H-E-E-N-T um, exam was benign, cardiovascular wise, her, she has regular rate and rhythm, no extremity, extremity edema noted. Um, her breasts were deferred, her GU-wise, there was no Fasabian tenderness. Muscle skeletal-wise, that's where she was positive. She had a left shoulder that is higher on the right when standing, reduced forward flexion of the lumbar spine, straight leg raising when limited to 45 degrees on the left side, sciatic stretch of the leg was also positive. Response to light touch and pain were no, um, were reduced on lateral side over the dorsal Dorsum of left calf, dorsal flexion of the left foot showed uh, slight weakness, and right ankle jerk, jerk reflex was also reduced. Neurological wise, same findings. Um, psychiatric wise, she appears a little anxious regarding the pain to her um, leg as it's not improving. Lab tests um, and diagnostics, I ordered a chest x-ray that came back negative. Differential diagnosis at this point based on all the findings and patient, patient presentations were acute lower back pain, herniated disc, sciatic, vertebral compression fracture. My actual diagnosis was a sciatica because it travels down the path of a sciatic nerve, which extends from her lower back through her hips to her buttocks and down to her leg. In most cases, it's only one extremity, as in this case, and it's usually caused by a bone spur, herniated disc, or spinal stenosis. The inflammation is created and causes the patient pretty significant pain. So because of that, the goal for this patient is going to be um, to relieve her pain, non-pharmacological 
uh, measures would be self-care, good body mechanics, to rotate ice and heat every six hours to the affected area, massage three times a week if, if the patient can accommodate it, a PT referral might be needed, rest and no work for two weeks, Acu acupuncture might be in place if, if symptoms don't improve, spinal manipulation that's later if she follows up and there's no improvement, exercise she should be doing daily and as well as stretching. Pharmacological wise, this person is going to continue with her NSAID, I would increase the dose by 200 milligrams. So I'd have her take 600 milligrams every eight hours for the pain to help with the inflammation and pain. I would also have her take the um, baclofen, which is a muscle relaxer to help relax her muscles. I'd have her take flexural five milligrams PO at nighttime so that she's not driving on this medication and to help reduce the side effects of the actual back, I mean, of the actual flexural. Patient education, again, you'd want her to take food with her, um, ibuprofen, take the muscle relaxer at night, and then follow up appropriately in two weeks. I wanted to re report any red flag symptoms, loss of bowel bladder or fever, um, or if the pain significantly, significantly gets worse or radiates to other areas of the body. Health promotion, this is where I address her overdue pap smear and her colonoscopy. Um, I really want her to follow up in two weeks. If her symptoms don't improve, we would also refer her to um, physiatry and possible cortisone injections. Thank you.